Okay, so we took down the heist. It was a little sweaty, but we got it done. Uh, defeating the Scion there does not reduce the threat meter, though. And so he is back out there. Strum. So we're going to go after him. Uh, we're taking out Purnima. I want to try to take her out more often to find more undrawn hand cards that suit her. I think she's got a lot of potential. We just need to find cards that will, like, either buff her damage or change the way her AP works to get her firing more often. But the only way we can get those on her is by taking her out. So we got to look for that stuff. Uh, she's got the Bandolier and the Crit Dice. Uh, Ingrid is taking out uh, the Van Braces, the Strum Garments, and the Armor Shred. And Nocturne is taking out the uh, AP when you buff or debuff consumable thing. Uh, extra ammo and the Vitality Gear 2. Let's begin, shall we? I'm going to try my best. We have a, a good mix of all the different roles. So I'm going to try my best to thin the herd before we have a huge fight. Contact brings news of a Strum Garrison being used as a temporary regional headquarters, which means it'll have a trove of court intelligence regarding troop movements, plan targets, and other useful intel. This is an opportunity I won't waste. With my agents and allies so outnumbered, intel is the only possible way to even the odds. The more intel we have on the enemy, the better our aim. I don't mind a little trouble, if the reward is worth the risk. Yeah? Are we hiding anything? Yes, we are. What are we hiding? Hmm. What's this then? Some suppies. Couple of suppies back there. It's not too bad. Okay, where are the bad guys? Why A not? hasten flask. Uh, lose your fears and be healed. Tent meeting. Everyone welcome. The doctor of hope, Sybil O'Malley, will cure all with the water of faith. Supplies there. Stockpile of food and drink. The markings on the containers indicate they were recently confiscated from a nearby village. All right. Handwritten list of camp duties. Okay, so there's one guy up there. To be performed daily and the punishment meted out or meted out for dereliction of duty. Not bad. Hasten flasks. I'll take it. That's the theme of the day. Okay. Stay put. Ooh, look at that group of three. We don't hate that. But do we want to clear the field a bit before we deal with them? Okay, we got Infernals back there. I could maybe sneak up top if these guys, these guys leave, but it doesn't look like they are. There's a bunch of them. Now, these guys aren't really the threats, but... Um, yeah, and we also can only take down three, so even if five of them are grouped up, it doesn't matter. See if I have an opportunity to kill one in the tower. We could throw the uh, shock mine to do it. Okay, I might have a chance here. And sleep. <laughs> Did you see the look on his face? Now there's another guy in the other tower. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. Let's get it together here. Get it together. Um, there's no, like, hazards for us to mess with, unfortunately. I do have a way to climb up there. What was that? I think they just saw the body. Don't wander. Yeah. That's not what I was thinking of doing. That's not who I thought it was controlling. <laughs> 
Don't even think about it, dude. Don't even think about it. Pain for the living, life for the dead. That guy's good. And it was quiet enough. Okay, that's a couple. Can't argue with that. Remain watchful. If that group of three gets back together and is over here far enough, maybe we can take them silently. And by silently, I mean, like, loud, but no one's close enough to hear it. Okay, here's the group. You shit me. Oh, they saw the body. Yikes. Follow me. I've I've noticed um a general theme. I think you guys kind of enjoy this this part of it more than I thought you would from a from a viewer's perspective I kind of expected that this could become quite tedious and I, I think it oh god nope frick Ooh, why okay <laughs> why am I like this We're going to kill this guy. What? Oh, okay. That was oh, she crit. Nice. Got the, got the kill cam. Okay, we can try this. We'll self-shock. Stand back. 55, not great. Okay, cool. Adaptive mechanisms, fine. He won't be able to hit us or anything, but still. Okay, double adaptive mechanisms. Yes, come to me. Isolate yourself. I wish I could hit an Infernal there. We do have the Archer, so we can guarantee crits. I guess that's something we could do with Trick Shot. It does have crits, too. So we could hit a bunch if they get close. Purnima. I think we'll just do this. She's far enough away. There's mostly melee units. But this is gonna we're gonna run out of being able to do this. One less to worry about. As they start grouping and coming toward us. Uh, you can't see anyone. That's too far. If I want to use an AP here, we can just say her next shot will be a crit, whatever we decide it is. Get that on cooldown. And then we'll tuck here, a little safer. Although this side we're totally safe from, so that was that is probably fine. Oh my gosh, she's missed a bunch unlike her this is a good grouping though yeah 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 group 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 okay interesting we got action here that I cannot see flash bomb here maybe gives us the marked benefit
Okay, so Pernima's next shot's a crit. Uh, this costs 2 AP. Hmm. I mean, I could do this and hit four, which is pretty solid. But, like, I'd like to hit this line if I could. Somehow that's not hitting this front guy. That does let me hit those four. The other option is we try here. But then we're way more limited. Hmm. If she just takes this... Like there I can I can just hit the 4, right? That's an option. But is that even enough is the real question. I think we're going to shock. This will tingle. We have the haste flask. So now they're like blinded, shocked, marked, which is good. They're not going to be moving very far. We do this, I could then haste flask her and she could take... Actually, she won't even have the ammo unless we get the bandolier triggering here. Um, interesting. Maybe I just wait on that. Thing is, I need 2 AP for it. But next turn, I could do it with the haste flask. This is a guaranteed crit here. How about a challenge sometime? And then I could go for a, a, a stick and move on him to blind him. We do have the stasis, we have the translocate. I could even I could even just pop this off and these guys take a bunch of shock damage. Is this guy shocked? Nope. So it's three people that would take it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna stick and move here. Definitely. No. So he's blinded. We have another guy coming in. Remember, these guys can come in and inflict. Knockdown as well. Your only shots are here. If I do this, it at least ignites him in that area. <laughs> and then those guys could potentially take damage, but... Even though this guy's blind, he can still... He could still hit us. With a melee ability. Okay, the double days. I don't love that. This is gonna hurt. You think this will stop me? Okay, that could have been way worse, but the days is pretty bad. Because our plan was that we're gonna need some AP, and now we don't have it. But Pernima can go invis and pretty much mark almost everyone. Can't hide from me! So do that. And then... 
That's not enough to kill. Ugh. Gross. This is very annoying. Okay, I'm gonna charge up. Are these guys still shocked or no? I don't believe so. So I could do this and these guys would take a bunch of damage. Doesn't flick dazed as well, but they're not going to be forced to move, really. I might just do this. So, she's invis. Ingrid is not. We're short on that guy of killing him, unfortunately. We have this, but then she's sitting here. We have this, but then she's sitting in the open. I guess I could... Oh, we don't have the haste flask here. Uh, this could be interesting. It's a little... I don't know. She probably dies after this, but... I could put her in here for the knockdown. And then translocate. And then... She inflicts shock on all enemies there. And then she could do this... Which dazes. She might drop, but it is kind of cool. <laughs> Let's be Too honest. Bad, boys. Being cool is awesome. Okay, the Vambrace triggered the cooldowns there. So this should kill that guy. We've shocked there. And then if I do this, these guys become dazed, but it's kind of wasted on them because they're already knocked down. Um, so the damage aspect is good. But then I could also just either stasis her or just move her back, because these guys are shocked. This guy, These guys can't do anything. This guy's shocked. Probably can't reach. And these guys... If I move her to here... I think we're probably safe. I don't know that this guy can reach. Maybe that's the play. I'm always watching. That's good. Okay, so he can reach, unfortunately. I don't hate this. They're all, like, super grouped. We just have a lot of health to chew through. That's the problem. Okay. Now, we don't have ammo here. That bandolier did not trigger at all. Could do the uh, the push kick here, so they both take damage. Oh yeah, he doesn't take damage. Unless he was up against something as well. But then she can heal off this. We're gonna have to kite a bit. Man, I can't believe our takedowns did not go well. I mean, I can. I can actually. I can actually. That's fine. Does this break her invis? The invis is... Doesn't say how it's broken, but I'm pr obviously if we attack. But I don't know if these kind of things do it. Because I could give her a little haste flask here, which would be nice. 
Because I wouldn't mind getting a grenade toss into this. This is just so many units. Well, let's find out. Okay, yep, it does. That is not good. It makes sense. I'm going to prioritize these four stronger units instead of that little guy. This is also going to make them... Nope, he didn't light. Interesting. Shit, Pernim is in trouble now. You took your eye off the prize. Big time. I'll take this. I mean, this is really good. I could hit those four. I could hit those four. This guy's blinded. I could also just throw a smoke. The knockdown is probably the safest just to mitigate the most amount of damage though. Let's do that. Ooh, yeah, right. The Vitality Engine got the plus one AP also. Okay. We'll take that. And then... We'll throw this down here for Purnima. Oh yeah, and that gives her another AP. Oh, I did that. I thought about that in the in the loadout. It's just like in the mission, it's hard for me to be considering that. I don't know why. I'll veil here. So it's only gonna be Purnima, but she's in smoke. One of them's blinded. That. That's unfortunate. Nice. I mean, okay, we negated one attack. And then we can clean up both of these. Yeah, so she's healed back up. And now... This is on cooldown still, unfortunately. She's not shocked, they're not shocked, so that doesn't really help. Probably wise for me to at least come back here with her. We give up a little bit of damage. Oh yeah, I take that bleeding too. Rip. These guys are already on fire. But this guy's actually not. And neither is this guy. What? Huh. Okay. This guy's close to breaking as well. We might have a way to do that. And then that could cause some inter-team problems. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. We got the stress up. And then, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so broken and ignited. Now, because they're like berserk, there's a chance the team just fights that thing. And vice versa. I'll tuck here. I'm not going to go for the finisher, actually. Uh, that guy's going to knock into each other. Is that enough damage to kill it, though? 58? E. Let's do this. That was close enough. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that worked out almost too well. 
I didn't realize that they would all get knocked down there. That's for some reason it's hard for me to. I like our odds a bit better now. Picture how that's gonna work when they're running into each other. I think as long as there's a flat surface that can't be moved, they'll get knocked down. And by flat, I mean hard. You know. Uh, is this guy dazed or yeah, he's blinded? Okay. So I go here, he could come around the corner and blast. I don't know that he would though, because he'd be super flanked. I'll take this, let's see. Yep, yeah, good, this is awesome. I really like that stress mechanic and I like that this is an aspect of it too. It's not just the takedown kill, right? So now it seems like I'm in a position where I don't need to uh, use my kill shot either. Or use my, um, sorry, my trick shot. I wouldn't hate a grenade here, honestly. I don't have one. Also, like, should I kill that? I should... I, we have it for another round, so I don't think so. We'll hit this front one. And then we'll buff... Pernima. With the auto crit. And then, like, I don't really want to... Get involved there. Or do I? Maybe I do. Come here for more knockdowns, just take the fire. Because I have the fire resist, right? See, because he had a space, he can just move back. He's down. I'm going to go back here. And then, the question is, do I break this front one or not? Because we could kill these guys, but I feel like they're all going to fight each other here. So maybe I just snapshot this guy? Uh, I could actually do full damage here. So he's really low, and he's broken. Nice, okay. So this guy's ignited for us. Oh, yeah, okay, this is fine too. I'm not on fire anymore. This is only a 45. In smoke and range penalty. 35. 70. Man, that's rough. Hmm. I do have the stick and move here. So I think we just take more fire damage. Don't count yourself oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? Okay. Oh, she doesn't... Okay. She doesn't get the kill there. That doesn't count as a kill for her. Oh, man. Okay, so this just got a little trickier. This guy has fire, but he's gonna get damage out for sure. Oh my god, dude. This, these shots. Okay. If this lands, I get AP back. Okay, so that's what triggers the kill. I think we knew that. But this is enough now because I got two AP where this needs to land. Can't have this lot running around wreaking havoc. Okay. Now, unfortunately, 
These two are still around. We are covered in smoke. Take this. That's great. And if this guy goes for the same thing, we'll have that. Actually, that only triggers once. That's fine. Okay. We have officially made it out of here. Wow. What a sweaty, sweaty opener. Very sweaty opener. And we still now need to fight the Scion. I might not go for the optional objective for the Magdalite because we have so much of it. How's health? She could use a little bit. Some supplies here. Our friends have something with them. Got the thing. Okay, there's the intelligence. So actually, it looks like he is blocking or fighting at the uh, Magdalite stash. Then there's a hand of or a mode of fate there. Little cash. Okay, nice. Hit me, mystical dealer. Ether, vigor tonic. What is vigor tonic? Into the old pocket with you. I'm not sure. No, no climbing. No climbing. Okay, let's actually just One moment. heal. Me till later. Weathered stone radiates an almost unnatural warmth. We did use some ultimate abilities there. So, like, if Ingrid... I'm not going to grab this just yet. If she was able to get some stealthy takedowns without triggering a group... This has to get used here, I guess. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. I think this might be okay. You will be watched. I want no mistakes, no excuses. Yep. Or you answer to me. But now they're going to freak the frick out. I hear movement. So we we're going to watched. We're going to reset. Mm -hmm. Someone's creeping about. Yeah, someone is creeping about. Yes, sir, Bobby. There's another group of three. Follow me. Let's get these guys in. Oh no. She's okay. Now he obviously we can't take him down. But there was a group that I wouldn't mind. Attempting a takedown on. Uh oh. If he turns, we could go. Ah, he's, he's running. This is actually a Wait here. pretty big group. I need a group to come way out here. We could just sow some chaos by um, getting her thing back. We might have to. Okay. I don't know why it's showing him over here now. Did he run to the, the uh, another place? Or is that a is that a bug? Holy crap, he is way over there. I'm going to go fight him alone. Come on. Push 
push on. Come to me. I smell fear. Yeah, we're gonna open on this. Definitely. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shock him. Charging. Okay, now he's got that fire shield. So that'll go off around him, but he's totally alone here. And he's not going to be able to get that close to us because of the shock. Okay. Immune to fire. Fire shield. Explosive shot. Shreds armor. He's got a heal. Steals vitality from all nearby enemies. He uses that. He's got that pull. Pushes a target back. Okay. We don't want to get close to him. That's the key here. Pranima's a little closer than I would like. Uh, refill. Oh, refills a signature charge of Vigor. Okay, okay. We'll go for the, the knockdowns here. Oh, yeah, okay. So he can't be knocked down. He can't be knocked down. It says real-time takedowns, but... Alright. So now we blind. My shirt. We have all the things on him. I'm going to try this. Hopefully that's far enough. We'll shred some... Uh... She's going to be in the open here, but like she's full health. Let's play our cards right. And honestly, if we kill him, I don't need to fight this group. I don't need the Magdalite. Right? There might be some other stuff back there that would be interesting. But we'll see. We'll see. Because we I may end up... I may end up wanting to do that. He's already pretty low. I actually think I'm going to do this. I think we'll smoke. I'm just... Ah, maybe I shouldn't move. I'm going to move. Because her health is a little bit more finicky. I wonder if I should use a turn to set this up and get marked going on him so that kill shot becomes more valuable. That's pretty good. You know what? I will. Okay. <laughs> I am protected, you fools. Oh, we'll see about that. Yep, deadly. Okay, we need to keep him shot. Okay, we need to keep him shot. You dare! Yep, I dare. Could he be stasis? Looks like it. We're going to buff Pernima here. Yes, we're close enough for him to hit us, I think. But I'm hoping we can kill him. Get the AP back. Then we can do her, her regular snapshot. He's dead, man. Boom, baby! Okay. I don't want to run through this. Clearly. This way. Okay, so I'm gonna actually refill her. And I'm gonna look at this. Because now the threat is much lower that he's not around.
and take down a big boy here. This works on the living and the dead. Another big boy. And then if I take three down with one of these, I'm laughing, right? Okay, so now there's four enemies. Now I'm in the shit, okay? I'm in the shit. But there's only four enemies. Let's part ways. We'll do a stick and move here. I'll be safe here. Okay. And actually, we still have her special shot. What if I go to like here and then I take this line? Okay, I just don't have the distance. You just, you don't have the unlimited range, you know? As much as you'd like it. Hmm. Then the problem is she's just standing there too. I think we'll take this opportunity to invis and mark everybody. A little bit of setup. And then she can take the full cover there. Yeah, I can I can also go invis here. So I can charge up for free. Shock somebody. And then just go invis. Okay. That is a little annoying, actually. That is a little annoying. Oh, reinforcements too. Frick. I didn't... I honestly didn't even... Didn't even consider that. Let's give her the crit, and now I think we can hit three. And I think we'll do it. Oh, can I, though? Yeah, that is gnarly. Very, very cool. Shock these two. <laughs> what a shot! Love to see it. Oh wait, what? Oh, cause I gave the crit. Oh damn. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. Frick. Kind of messed that up. I can get the stick and move and take some fire damage. And then this guy dies from the... Yeah, I'll do this. You blinked. If we would have crit there, that could have been cool. Could have been cool, but it wasn't. Let's tuck here. It's the best we can do. Okay. Going somewhere? Does he get a whack here? Oh boy. 
<laughs> that was quick. The shock is going to save us there. Where the heck are you coming from, dude? Man. This is rough. Okay. We do have this. It inflicts dazed. But I think I'm going to take... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Do this. Res here. Don't leave me. Time for some payback. And then she'll be able to chain these two kills and heal a bunch. This is still going to be a problem here. What do we have here? I'll grab that. Actually, I might be able to do a knockdown there, but we'll take fire damage. Our dance is done. Yeah. We'll take the ignite. 35 only. Gross, dude. Get the AP back from the mark. Okay. Oh, I thought we might be protected there. We weren't. It's a dream. Oh, my frickin'. It's all right. Oh, it's oh don't make right. me regret taking this. Don't make me regret this. Okay, so this attack should get me the kill technically in the Okay. That sucks. See, that's weird. Um, she, so she gets the heal afterwards. I know we've seen that a couple times, but it, it is uh, still strange. <laughs> it is still awkward. I'm just going to stasis nocturne here. We'll mark this group. She goes invis. This group isn't too bad. This should be okay. You know what? If I drink the Vigor Tonic, then I get this back. I'm in full cover here. I'm not too concerned. Now, one thing I haven't really been doing when we've been faced with Overwatch uh, concerns is just shooting them to break it. Got the ammo there. Got the knockdown. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ammo and stalker cooldown. Cool. Take an evade here. I don't know if they're close enough to melee attack me. Nocturne's now out. This is one thing I don't I don't like about this skill is um, it unlocks at the beginning of an enemy turn, which is already? really awkward. Okay, so I took one. Yeah, that's that's a very just weird 
interaction. I can pop this guy twice. I'm one stress away from being broken. Which would not be great, let's be honest. It would not be great. But it will happen here. Unless I do a knockdown. Actually, I can I I can't even do a knockdown. I can't get that that angle is blocked. Huh. So I have to stick and move. You couldn't keep up. But if she gets shot at once here, then she breaks. Oh, the bleeding too, goddamn. Legend, we'll I take am. that double AP right there. Thank you. We still have this ability. What are we going to do with Nocturne here? I'm going to put out the fire. Move her into a bit of cover, and we'll provide the smoke. Provide the smokes! Uh, why was that free? Shouldn't have been, I don't think. I'll take it. Got the free overwatch. God damn. Please miss. Stop shooting. Still stress broke. Okay. That sucks, but hopefully it hopefully it's not a, a movement based impact for her, like we've seen on uh, Celestine a couple times. Initiating console Surprise. Thirty. Just short. Okay, buff Pernima's yeah. crit. Assistance. He does have some uh, he's in smoke actually, but yeah, this is this is good. He's gonna have to move. fine. It's all part of the plan. Good work, chap. Shall we crack on? Okay, man, that was so much sweatier than I anticipated it being. Our early takedowns I'll did take not this. go well. Our takedowns here went pretty okay. Forward observation site 1605A, nothing to report, nothing ever to report. There's nothing out here. Got a couple ethers. Okay. Now we peace out. Now getting getting uh, Strum over there was pretty cool. I guess is this a path? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. A souvenir. Med kit. Firebomb two. This is where he went. I was wondering how we got there. Oh my god, we're not even done. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? Okay, so who needs this thing? There's more reinforcements. There's so many enemies, dude. More ether. I'm gonna take it on her. Whoa. Run. Not bad. I'll take it.
Give me a moment. Okay, Purnima, you can do this. I might get three here. Let's give Locke his money's worth, eh? Okay. I didn't see those guys on that side, but um, it did stress them, so that's good. We do have some knockdown, but Nocturne is really far away. You took your eye off the prize. And we have two things of reinforcements here. I almost wonder if I should just make a run for this, because we are not in a good spot. Problem is, I, I guess with Invis, we probably could make a decent attempt at just getting out of here. I almost wonder if that's my play here. We got the key. We killed the key guy. Did we pick up the key? I hope so. Um. If these guys are broken, then it serves as, like, good distractions for them. Admitted. We're impressed. So I might just throw on some stressors here. I can't believe how intense this mission was. Like three massive groups. That is quite annoying. The countdowns on these are fairly long though. So that's in our favor. Um, let's do this. She only has one AP. I'm going to stick and move to break here. So now they might shoot him, he might shoot them, that whole deal. And I'll start moving her towards the objective. I know she's a bit dangled there. Very nice. This puts an additional st I he should have an extra stress there, I think. There's actually more enemies out here than I anticipated. Okay, well, not sure how this is going to go down now. Shoot your friend. Okay, well... This is... That's fine. Not so fast. Okay, that's annoying.
This guy's still broken. My goal is to get out of here. You're in over your head. That's what it feels like at the moment. Agreed. Try to break some line of sight here. Yes, the scarabs are annoying, but whatever. I'm going to veil and run. Run, Parnima! We still have her invis as well. Remember my face. That sucks. It will be the last thing you see. Okay. So that guy's not broken anymore. This guy is close. Oh yeah, that's actually excellent. Now, that might be a problem, so let me, first of all, run her through here. No hard so that guy is broken now. There's some stuff over here. How much do I want it? Let's take it. Yet. Wow. This isn't looking good. Yeah, this is not looking good. That's a really on point shot there. And the broken guy just dies. It looks bad, but I've stanched the bleeding at least. I'm fine. We have a job to finish. Problem is now... Do. Kind of need to heal. Why is that free? Something's going on with these AP costs that I'm not realizing. This is a flank from that guy, I'm aware. No time to waste. She's so close. I don't have the AP for this. I think the safest play I can make here is going invis with her. 
then crossing my fingers with Nocturne. I run here, she gets attacked by these guys. If I run here, this guy f probably flanks her and takes her down. I don't have invis. Oh, hold on. What if I translocate her? She's still in Viz. Oh god, it's still not frickin' far enough. Oh my god. That's really rough. I could stasis her. And then when it breaks... But it breaks at the start of their turn, right? So that's what's really bad. I have to just do this. It's unfortunate. Oh, that guy might have... Yeah, he might have just blocked that guy's shot, actually. But he might have blocked my path, too, unfortunately. <sighs> oh, crazy. Crazy. This scarab here, what are you gonna do? I don't get think punched. So. Nice. Please. Oh, thank God. Go here. AP flask there. Is she close enough? Oh, she's one short. Still in biz. Just bring her as far back as I can. Ionizing particles. Come on. If she goes down, we can res her and still be in the exit zone. Okay, he's trying to run. That's good for us. We're good. We're good. We should be good. Pernima, run! That's another job done. Not bad. GTFO! Now let's get these papers back to lock. Holy smokes, man. That was sweaty. The recovered documents are secure and on their way back to the island. The intel within is sure to be useful. Strum has connections across the globe and dabbles in everything from national politics to the art trade to obscure occult research. Three cards. Everyone's alive. That's what matters. Try using a bruiser to push or throw an enemy through an something's thing. Close shave. On that last mission, an agent fell into mortal danger more than once. That means the agent is now incapacitated. Unlike wounded agents, incapacitated can't run missions or expeditions. A few weeks of rest will get them back on their feet or witness a healing miracle by applying a megalite bomb. Okay, so I think here, incapacitated, I think this should cost more megalite bomb. It should. Ooh. The Dweller. 
On receiving damage, gain blinded. Interesting. It is on our melee unit. Sometimes I think I am the unluckiest girl in the world. And it's blocking our healing. So that's something. Serpent, Great Wind, and Companions. No duplicates here. We have a bunch of ink now that we're building up too. When using buff abilities, this agent heals one stress and has a 25% chance of having ability cooldowns reduced. Okay. Upon becoming inspired, this agent gains two speed for two rounds. While inspired, attacks have a 10% chance to grant plus one AP. Maximum plus three AP per round. So the only person in this group that gets inspired on the regular would be her. Because she gets it on reloads. Which is not great. Self buff ability, gain 1 AP. This is obviously for free, but it's an 8 turn cooldown. But that's really good. You just use that every single time that it's up. And you, if, if basically every encounter, you'd be able to use that, right? Who would benefit the most from this, though? I would say maybe Ingrid. That means we lose the bull, which is a lot of control. Um, this Avenger could probably go. It's not really... She's not getting attacked that much, the way that we play her. The Blacksmith, eh, yeah, that's fine. So this would give her an extra AP. That could mean, like, an extra reload. It could mean... Yeah, I actually... I don't mind that. Do we just replace both of her cards with these two? I think we do. Let's give her Serpent. This will give us an edge. And this would be good, like, on somebody uh, that gets inspired more regularly, too. Like Eddie or uh, Latif, I think. Does he get inspired when he evades now? I can't even remember. Sniping is as and then Companions, I'm just going to discard. Now, we do have some upgrades that we can explore, too. This should decrease us. Could be the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Ah, okay. Nicastro's Doomsday Clock to go back to the previous breakpoint. That's good for us. So we have two clocks out there. One Marteau, one Nicastro. Nicastro, not a threat right now. Minus four threat. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, yeah, okay, so this takes two. We'll do that. That's fine. So she's good. Uh, we do, however, we have this. So we have to make sure she doesn't get too damaged. But even with blinded, I think because she's melee, she could still do pretty well. Just curious as to what we're going to do next. So Marteau is going to tick over here. The decision we have is, do we go here to get him back to that? I think we should. This is this is quite literally the best time to do it as well. Um, there's one tick left, right? So this, this will be our mission. Destroy the region's crossroads beacon. All enemies start with three stress, psychological warfare. Cool. And then we don't have any intel, unfortunately. So unless I find some on that mission, that's really all I can do. Well, 150. 150? I got three for a similar piece in 28. That was before the crash. <laughs> it's a tough market. Fine. What's your cut? Lamplighter's discount, 50%. Ah, the numbers are starting to make sense. Oh, come on, buddy. I think we'd make a great team. Now, what else have you got for me? I'll say this, Captain. You're the best fence on this island. Wow. Okay. What should we do? We do have some skill points. Couldn't keep away. You wish to guide the hand of fate? I've got three ether. You need something special from me? We still don't have any King's Ether. We have a Seric Steel, and we were talking about uh, getting Eddie 
up to be able to use this. So we now have the 12, and I think I'll take this. Higher ammo capacity, increased crit chance, increased hit chance. Yeah. And this too, like hit him fast, we'll want. I'm okay just locking that in right now. Absolutely. Okay. So Eddie's probably going to have to carry us a little bit here. And that's fine by me. Uh, uh, supplier's yeah. wise, or sorry, allies wise. Kill for stress. Give everybody plus one stress. Melee attacks that crit, shred, and hear. Medkit two. Being healed increases armor by three. That's kind of interesting, but like healing a bunch is kind of rough. Oh, very well. What is it? Since this, like, I'll buy this if I need it, but it doesn't connect us to anything in the tree. So I'll just give everybody Let's plus one stress. Again. All right, guys, um, wish me luck. We're going to take on in this Infernal Device next. I will bring Eddie because uh, I want to. I'm probably, you know what? I'll probably bring Pernima, Eddie, and Latif. Latif hasn't seen a whole lot of action recently. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be cool. This is Marteau. So they have shock resistance. We won't bring Nocturne. They have fire weakness. So we'll bring out the, the fire talisman thing. And uh, we'll see what we can what we can do, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good time. We will. Uh, interesting. This actually resets it more. We got minus four, I believe, for killing Strum. If I go here, it'll do minus four. <sighs> actually, if I went here and reduced it, you see how it's still ticking up. I just don't know if that's going to tick up. Wait, what's here? King's Ether is here though. Oh, dang. I don't know if by killing him, are we going to trigger this and then set it back? Or is it going to set it back? One, two, three, four. Because that would still be, that would be pretty good. And then we could still save this. Plus there's King's Ether there, which that's the first time I've seen that as a reward. Um, But I also need Intel because I can't run any of these jobs. Which sucks. I don't know. I actually think this is the play. If that triggers, okay, so be it. We'll learn. But um, if it doesn't, then great. I think it's going to, though. But we're still going to set it back. So Spectronauts Void Grenades have larger blast radii. I mean, okay, whatever. Yeah, so I think we'll actually do this to get the um, King's Ether. And we'll fight Marteau. Now, Marteau... He's the one who, like, teleports away, though. S right? He's... He... Uh, we ran into him earlier. And... She's pretty good to deal with his, like, swapping positions and stuff. Hmm. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think we'll we'll try it like this. We won't have a bruiser, which sucks. Uh, and we'll only and we'll have two sneaks. I don't know. Maybe that is bad. Maybe uh, maybe we don't bring Latif again. We bring Eddie. We bring Nocturne for her. Uh, I'm pretty sure we had her when we ran into him the first time. And we bring Pernima just to see if we can continue getting some stuff here. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Bye for now.